oh, within yeah. a lot of Pokemon trainers too. Yeah. And I think he was the first Ivysaur that taught me uh, Down Throw Up B. When I played him in Houston, it was pre-G6, and I was an Inkling man at the time. And then he grabbed me at 70 and I died. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then I played Wi-Fi. I'm like, ooh, I think that's true. And I did it. And I'm like, yeah, I Ivysaur's PT. got Ivysaur's got If I didn't know stuff. that existed, I would have never played PT. And then I would have never learned how fun it is. But uh, Ismon, number five in Houston. He's, uh, so, he's Texas, such a good player. He's such a good player. I mean, this this man is positive on Karna. This season, he's positive on hockey. Finally getting over his curse versus hockey. Yeah, game. he... There the were, first there were season so many times. Was, oh, he had so many he never times. took a step. Yeah. It, but, and he would come so close, too. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a body bag, especially towards the end of the season. And then, you know... But finally, this season, he's doing very well. Very good start. And, uh, and right I'm, now... I'm assuming they uh, played a lot. Yeah. But, like, That's you know, gonna be it's, kind of the, it's kind of the thing where Carlos is really good and really a hidden boss. But Ismon is not only very good at this matchup, beating uh, Denti, Tenny, and myself. Well, and uh, But when you're that good uh, and you're so accustomed to the matchup, uh, it's kind of it's going to be hard for Carlos. And it's, he could definitely do it. He, he could do, do it, but much? I don't know what he did, but it's going to be tough to beat him if you're SD. Yeah, especially. I think he tried for a wall cling and missed. Maybe. I don't think he air dodged. And that's just unfortunate. And now Ismon's just sitting pretty yeah. up two full stocks. Two full stocks, only barely about forty-eight percent. And uh, it's it's at that point where no, almost no matter how good you are, when when it, when your opponent is as good as Ismon, it's kind of like all right, I need to start thinking about the next game because Ismon is just kind of running over him in neutral, ignoring the SD. Ismon's just been landing nares and. Uh, Carlos doesn't really even answer out of shield for it. Nah, not really. And like, it's hard because it's basically safe on shield. <laughs> but, oh, he's dead. Oh, Half good yeah. fart. And that's going to take yeah. it. That's a clean three stock. Super clean three stock from Ismon. I mean, Ismon is very comfortable in the matchup. He's double limited de Denti at an RP. Uh, like I said, he's beating me and Tenny, at least in friendlies. I believe he's played Tenny in bracket. I'm sure he's played Ca he's Carlos, played Carlos a, bunch of time. a lot. He's probably played other PTs in, in Houston or like whenever he travels. I'm sure there's random PTs he plays. He just I'm, feels comfortable in the matchup. Po Pokemon Trainer's not the most un like yeah. it's a somewhat common he's nowadays. Somewhat common it feels like he's so popular because everyone's like, oh, character they're, crisis. They're this bad. Is my character. It's just like, oh, it's just like I can I can play three characters. Yeah, I mean, effectively, it's probably Squirtle's just the pretty much the opener to get yeah. them to about 60, 70. Then Ivysaur carries. Ivysaur, yeah. And I, then Charizard's just really there if you need to survive need and be survive, heavy. Yeah. Uh, I used to have a lot of faith in Charizard, and it's, I think he's better than people give him credit for. I think he has a lot of silly things, especially with Rage. Back door, back Oh, he's got some super, oh, super silly, silly things. things. I mean, he basically, if he has Rage, I think he's a legitimate contender for high tier in the right matchup. In, oh, the, in a bad matchup, yes. it's rough. But here we go. Battlefield is the counter. Battlefield with the Mementos version. P4 get, Gotta music. get that good music going so, on there. Obviously a P4 fan. Or is this P3? No, this is this is Persona 4. This 3 is, yeah. is the blue. 3 is blue, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Often to start with Charizard. Interesting. Uh, I mean, Charizard does have low percent, percent combos. Back to Just like there, yeah. And uh, if he gets another grab, he still has combos. And uh, he probably thinks he might be able to get out of combos maybe with up B or, sw or maybe switching into Squirtle. Maybe. Because if you switch, let's say you get up tilted and then up aired. And then you switch. Well, now you're a faster character in the air. You get away. You do your combos, and then it's interesting. I mean, it's not it's not an inherently bad thing because Charizard is surprisingly good at low percents as well. It's just that he struggles in neutral because he's so because he's so he, big. He's so big. It's 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 ironic because he's such a fast character, but he's so big and he doesn't really have landing tools. But he wants to be in the air, and that's the thing with Charizard. He doesn't have an archetype. He's not a true grappler. He's not really like and he's, he's a heavy, but he's he plays so differently, and he just feels yeah. underwhelming. Underwhelming because he's not a true grappler because he doesn't have combos forever. And now he's just he's not a true brawler because his jab sucks, <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he's not like it's, uh, like a DDD that just lives forever and supposed to hit you with something. Oh In some God. ways, he is. He's a heavy that's a stray hitter, which is super rare. Now he's gonna be forced. To, no, he doesn't flare blitz, and he's just gonna. Yeah, I mean that was, it that. was a. That was between a rock and a hard place. He had to jump Flare Blitz and hope Ismon doesn't punish it. Maybe he thought he could make it back, so I don't blame him Maybe. for it. Uh, but now Ismon is at a grab. He might, he should die to down throw up B if he gets the tipper. 
Uh, but he also might be out of the range. I don't know exactly how it works on a floaty character like Wario. Yeah, Wario is way and, floatier and than the, And the thing is, for. Ismon's good at DI'ing it too, and Wario has some of the best horizontal survivability because of his aerial drip. And so, as long as he DI's... Oh! Yeah, up tilt, up tilt, waft. Up tilt waft, that's that's a kill confirm right yeah. there. And, and now, that's the thing, it's like a lot of Charizard's best kill moves are from the side, aside from up smash. And aside from up smash and maybe up throw yeah. on a platform. But up throw, oh man, it's a shell of it's what it was in Smash 4. And, and, and Isma's really just running away with it. Like he's, he's reading everything in neutral. He's coming in at the right times. He's reading the text. Or like the, the, like he'll get the fair, and maybe he won't be in a tech situation, but he reads the jump out of it, and then he hits him there. E even there, the back throw from Ivy's still not going to take that stock. And yeah. Isma still hasn't dropped a stock this set. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like a lot of your kill moves, Warrior's just thick. Like he's relatively heavy for off the top. And off the side, unless he DI's bad, he's one, I'm pretty sure he technically has the best survivability off the side. He has very good survivability, not just because he's floaty and he's got the heavy weight, but also with the bike. Because of the bike and everything, and he's hard to gimp, and I mean, and that's the thing, like he's an aggro character that doesn't mind people running away from not him at because all. of WAF, and it's a true confirm, starting as low as like 40. So that, and that's why uh, a lot of people think Wario is very good. Wario is very good. And is that my kill? That, yeah, that yeah. will. With all that rage, yeah. that's going to take that. And that's just unfortunate for Carlos. I mean, it's a Houston event, so it makes sense they play. Nothing wrong there. It's just, I mean, Ismon is a beast, man. Like, this man's probably going to be top three this season. He's he's on Houston PR. He's on, on Texas, Texas PR. PR. Like He did amazing when he went to Prime Soggy. I he mean, did he beat very Best well. Ness. Mm -hmm. At the pre-weekly, he beat Zaki. He beat... Uh, AC, he beat Zyro. He had so many good wins I mean, that he, weekend. He did such, he said, so, I was so proud of him because I joke around with Ismon, I bully him a lot. Whenever he, <laughs> like when he went to Dallas and he lost to Burr, and no offense to Burr, great player. Ever since he moved from Incineroar to Inkling, his results went up because he's a melee player and he's a very solid melee player. I think mm -hmm. he's eighth in, in, 